there. G.I. Joe. A real American hero. G.I. Joe is there. It's G.I. Joe against Cobra and Destro fighting to save the day. He never gives up. He's always there fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the he world. He never gives up. He'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe. Is a real beauty. Now, with Cobra slithering around on the loose, we need all the help we can get. Hit the deck! I'm gonna kick the mustard out of that crazy hot dog. He could have smeared us all over the runway. Hey! Bacteria brain! Come down and let's discuss your future as a mental patient. Oh, come on, Duke. Where's your spirit of adventure? Give a teammate a hand. I missed you, Duke. You certainly did. By that much. <laughs> Something's coming in below our radar level. Attack! Cobra! Man of action. It's the Sky Strikers they're after. We've got to get them airborne. up to something big. Superstitious fools didn't even wait for their pay. <laughs> now, open the gates! Identification, please. We are disappointed. You were expected days ago, Destro. The shipment was difficult to assemble, and I lost more time climbing to this ridiculously melodramatic location. I designed the Cobra Temple to guarantee us secrecy and security. Now, what have you brought me? Yes, 
truly exotic substances, Destro. But will they work? Raise the mass device! These three elements will fuel the device, and with it I shall bring the world to its knees. But will it reach its target? If it goes astray, we'll look like fools! <laughs> this will guide us. The perfect homing device. One just like it is now being placed in the target zone. Then we shall not fail. Load the mass pods quickly. It is the first step towards Cobra domination of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Sorry to send for you without explanation, Duke. Especially in the aftermath of Cobra's sneak attack. But I've got a real challenge for the G.I. Joe team. I presume your request for G.I. Joe was filed correctly, General Flagg. Form BX257, requisition order MZ19, in triplicate. The Duke, this is Major Juanita Hooper from the Office of Budget and Accounting uh, at the Pentagon. Huh. I'm supposed to keep her happy. Bad chance. This is as far as we go. Locked behind those silo doors is a new space satellite of incredible capabilities. My mission is to ensure its safety until launch time tomorrow, so... So, you want the G.I. Joe team to try a break-in to test your defenses. Am I right, General? Affirmative, Duke. You're way ahead of me, as usual. Not a very wise procedure, dollar-wise. But necessary nonetheless, Major. When can your team take a crack at this installation? Right now. Scarlet? Why, wow, thank you, sir. E it looks like your team blew it on the first try. The notion that the G.I. Joe team could breach these defenses was totally ludicrous. You were saying? Well done. But your success only proves security here is adequate. You just lost me, sir. Brilliant commando work got three of you inside, but it'd take dozens of men with heavy equipment to steal the satellite. A force your size just couldn't do it. Why not show them the satellite, General? They look like they could use an education. Uh, well, okay. Let me show it to you. Magnificent contraption, isn't it? Too expensive for what it does, however. And uh, just what does it do? This is the ultimate relay star. It can receive and send the most powerful energy to anywhere at any time. Once it's in orbit, there'll be no safe hiding place. Precisely. Now let's tour the silo and leave your weapons outside for pity's sake. This isn't a combat mission. Exquisite. Well, Destro? Any moment now, Cobra Commander. 
My invention will seize the molecules of the relay star satellite, assemble them for transportation, scramble them into a coherent beam of pure energy, and send them here to us. <laughs> now, mass is ready. Mass device my foot. You wasted millions of hard stolen dollars, you titanium faced turkey. It's the operating temperatures. Instead of beaming the satellite back here, I'll send an assault team in to bring it out. Troopers, to the sending grid! What makes you think it'll work this time? I could lose men, material, a fortune! Now! No! It's not possible! Position by gantry elevators. On target, Scarlet. If we can position those elevators properly, we can lift the silo walls right off their foundation. Go for it! Stand by for assault, man! It's working, General! Let's take them! sign of an immature mind. I have mastered the device. Coordinates locked, temperature perfect. There! It's over, Baroness. You and Major Blood step out and lay down your weapons. <laughs> I'm afraid our surrender has been cancelled. Not so fast, Baroness. He's vanished, and the satellite's gone with him. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Look yet, Breaker? Nothing. What about Cobra's weird fade-in, fade-out technique? 
computer says it might be a form of molecular transference. If so, a Nobel Prize winning scientist, Dr. Laszlo Vandermeer, is the world's leading expert. Last place he was seen was his farm in New England. Monumental microchips. Looks like Cobra took over every television and radio terminal in the world. Citizens of the world, we have a power greater than any in the history of mankind. Look and tremble. <laughs> This is but the first in a series of demonstrations of the awesome power of Cobra. Beg your leaders to surrender to Cobra at once. You have 24 hours. Cobra! What... what is this place? Where am I? Can you understand me? They seem normal, except for those strange headbands. Those pulsing lights look like the readout on some sort of brain scanner. Water! Please! Do you have water? It's useless to speak with the slaves, Duke. They are mindless creatures of the Cobra Organization. You will soon be one of them, after you have appeared in the arena of sport! Let's take her down. We should be right over Vandermeer's farm. my brain. They stole the secrets of mass. You were working on the mass device? Yes, and the only force powerful enough to counter it is another mass device. Then we've got to make one. Back to headquarters. I can begin construction on the mass device at once, but the three substances that power it are extremely rare. We must get them before Cobra does, or all is lost. And a way to help you. Welcome to the Cobra Arena of Sport, Duke. We are pleased you have agreed to participate in our games. <laughs> I've agreed to nothing, reptile breath. And the only game that interests me is kicking in your fangs. Come now, Duke. 
Where's your spirit of competition? It is useless to resist. Your motor reflexes are entirely in my control. Now bow so the sport may begin. Bow! <laughs> now it's time to bring in my champion. <laughs> pieces of gold says you can't. How do you plan to stop me? By letting my unwilling gladiator fight his own battles. <laughs> it, it's too north. Fight, Cobra, we must build another mass device. But as you know, mass is fueled by three very rare catalytic elements. To defeat Cobra, we must get our own supply of this fuel. Cobra's gonna be on the horn with demands in less than 24 hours, Dr. Vandermeer. Now, how long before you can have a mass device ready for us to use against them? A few days, perhaps a week. But without the three elements, it will be valueless. Well, then tell us where to find them, Doc, and we'll bring them in pronto. Very well. But it will not be easy. The first element we need is a radioactive crystal which can be found buried near the Arctic Circle. Not far from a glacial expanse known as the Sea of Ice. volunteering to stand and fight against us to the bitter end. Worse, our spies report G.I. Joe has learned about the three catalytic elements and is going after them. The sport can wait. We must have a strategy meeting. I am Selina. Slip this between your headband and your forehead, and you will be able to interrupt the control waves. It will cause you agonizing pain, but you will be free to run. Why, why are you doing this? Shh, the guards approach. When you flee, make for the great cobra's mouth. I shall meet you there. What are you holding? I saw him pass you something. Search him. Ah, nothing. 
Save the water, slave. He won't be thirsty soon, or anything else but pulverized. <laughs> <laughs> Keep laughing, jerk. This is my ticket out of here. got the coordinates cold, pretty lady. And I'm talking cold. How do you read it? Dr. Vandermeer was right, Snowjob. The crystal mine is ahead of us, at the edge of the forest. No tracks in the snow. I'd say we got here before Cobra. Then let's get those crystals and get out. I'm starting to identify with frozen food. <laughs> Major Blood. By the time we reach the mine, our enemies will have the crystals and be long gone. I wouldn't bet on it, Lieutenant. Something in there bothers Snake Eyes, Tripwire. And I know better than to doubt Snake Eyes' sixth sense, Scarlet. A little sweep and scan couldn't hurt. But stay back! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. All is in readiness, Cobra Commander. Only a show of force will convince the world we mean business. Begin! Citizens of the planet, evidently our first demonstration of Cobra power wasn't sufficient to convince you of my purpose. This time, there will be no room for doubt. Premier Ivan Valankov of the Soviet Union, I have you and your Red Square battalions in my view. Comrade, I hereby call upon you to order your entire military command to lay down its arms. You have ten seconds to comply. Your time is up. Now you and your nation will pay for your arrogant refusal to obey me. <laughs> The next demonstration of my power will not be so gentle. Therefore, hear this and obey. Leaders of all nations meet at noon tomorrow on Tanu Island. That is... All. I was rather good, wasn't I? The mass device is not a toy for your amusement. These repeated demonstrations of its power have almost exhausted our supply of catalytic elements. The world doesn't know that. Now come, it's time to return to our sport. I must replenish the pods. That can wait. First, I'll dispose of Duke. Then we can get on with our conquest of the world. <laughs> Reptilian Popinjay. I don't pick up any life form readings. There's some funny blips on my scope. 
but they could be from radioactivity. Then let's dig some crystals. Robot defenders! I knew this wasn't one of my better days. us into the crystal bay. The radioactivity will fry us. The robots have to reprogram to deal with our new position. This one's shaking at its transistors. We'll mop up while you go get the crystals. And hurry, we're running low on time. Let us end this fast. There's work to do. I'm enjoying the sport. Besides, I don't feel there's anything that can't wait. That shows what you know. It was I who developed the mass device. I who made you aware of its potential. You! Without my money and organization, you'd be out in the rain watching your face rust. Gold strip. Selena said it would... Interrupt control. I must concentrate. Concentrate! This bickering is senseless, Cobra Commander. We are allies. Now, may we? Of course. Oh, yeah! Stop the prisoner! Identification, please. I'll be fine, but I've got to get out of here. The Viper Glider. It is the only way. Hurry! I'll have you all punished if Duke escapes. Strike, Cobra! Strike! I don't know how to thank you, Selena. There is no need. What'll happen to you? I know secret ways back to the slave pens. No one will know I've been involved in your escape. Now go! Something to remember me by until I come back to free you and your people. Any second now. There! Until we meet again.
G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Ready when you are, Snake Eyes. Take cover! Fresh snowy air. I never thought I'd smell it again. I... We got company. Cobra! Cobra! They can't get in. We can't get out. The failsafe activator, Major. An explosive charge was placed in the mine for an occasion just like this. a radioactive cloud. We can stay here and learn to glow in the dark, or we can go out there and maybe get cut to pieces. Snake Eyes! We'll try a breakout when he joins us. Come in, Snake Eyes. Acknowledge, Snake Eyes! Acknowledge! He's lowering a radioactive shield! Get out of there, Snake! There was no time for him to get out. He knew that when he brought it down to save us. <laughs> There's nothing we can do for him. And we can't get at the crystals either. Hey! Look at there! A way out! It must have opened automatically when Snake Eyes lowered the shield. Come on! We'll never forget you. For what you've done, Snake Eyes. We owe you our lives. For now, we've got to get out of this trap. Let's move out before Cobra comes in here after us. Good doc, is he going to make it? His vital signs are weak, cover girl, but Duke's no ordinary man. Full emergency team ready. As world leaders rendezvous to await the orders of the Cobra commander. This is the scene at Tanu Island in the Pacific. The American delegate to this reluctant conference is presidential appointee General Flagg. General, what is the government's position on this situation? Simply this, we will never surrender to Cobra no matter what their threats may be. The position of my country is... Hey, what happened? They're gone, man. The screen is blank. Just like the Red Army. Boastful fools! 
Your rash statements of bravery are pointless. This is the fate of all who reject my supremacy. <laughs> the fate of your leaders will be yours if you continue to defy us. Surrender to the new Cobra Order or become our mindless slaves. The choice is yours. There's Duke. He's been hurt. What? Stalker. How did I get here? We were hoping you could tell us. You were with Cobra. And if you know how to get to Cobra headquarters, we could put an end to this nightmare fast. It's no use. I... I can't remember anything. Nothing except... except a face. A beautiful face. You gotta remember, man. Somehow, some way, you must. If you can, Cobra's one at all. <laughs> Surrender to the new order of Cobra starting at noon tomorrow, or suffer my wrath, devastation, ruin, chaos! <laughs> Egotistical peacock. Doesn't he realize our supply of catalytic elements is too low to activate his wild threats? And an empty threat destroys our credibility. But we retain the upper hand, Destro. G.I. Joe failed to get the red crystals. We have failed as well, my dear Baroness. Your concern is unfounded. Major Blood may yet succeed in bringing back the crystals. He must succeed. He must. Don't you program the repair module yet? If we're not out of here before nightfall, we could freeze to death. Ready now, sir. Then send it in to do its work. This robot will bring out the crystals and deal with any G.I. Joe survivors. Repair the search androids! It'll flush them out or finish them. Yes, I can see something. I do see something. Someone, really. She's coming in clear. She's in danger. And, and that's all I remember. Hey, we're here. All right, let's get topside. We are right over the deepest trench in the ocean floor. At the bottom lies a pool of heavy water. The second of the three catalytic elements we've got to get before Cobra beats us to it. You know your team assignments. Buddy up and get into your diving gear. We're going over the side. Yeah, let's go! 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 let us so, who do we have to ramrod this operation? Good question, Stalker. And here comes a good answer. Look at that oh, place! That's, that's Moby Dick I'm checking out!
There are only two things to remember. Take your lead from Torpedo. This is his turf. And don't get out of your depth suit or the pressure down there will crush you like a grape. Uh, uh. Hey. Good luck and happy hunting. Okay, straighten up your formations. Synchronize depth gauges. Ready? Going down. <laughs> Hang on to hip here, guys. We're going where few have gone and fewer still have ever returned. Yeah! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Young, strong man, you are to sure. But what you are doing in these bleak hills, I do not know. But you will surely freeze to death if you're not given shelter. <laughs> Easy now, boy, steady. Whoever's disturbing you will have to wait. We're up. Mush! I'm your husky! <laughs> <laughs> Your crystals, Destro. Mission accomplished. Excellent, Major Blood. I salute you. Now we lack but two of the precious elements which will make us invincible. Only the G.I. Joe team stands against us. But if we can get the remaining elements before they get them, there'll be no stopping us. The planet will be ours! <laughs> There's a bottom coming up. We'll step down on that sort of plateau over there. And watch out for that fissure. The stuff flowing out of there is molten sulfur. The water around it is hot enough to hard boil an elephant. So keep away. Those odd columns. I've seen them before. So have I. In a nightmare. I've got it. They look like giant tube worms. Giant tube worms? Yeah! Hey, do your worm worrying later. Right now, activate your pressure suits. Let's find that heavy water and get out of here. This could be a hairy detail, so maintain radio contact at all times. The heavy water pool should be somewhere down there. Check your coordinates and move in. Looks like a pretty bad neighborhood. Oh, I wouldn't say that. See? No graffiti. <laughs> Now, me. Attack! Cobra! 
Too. Now, give us your heavy water as well. We had a deal, Baroness. A deal? With Cobra? <laughs> Surely you can't be serious. I'm serious. Yo, Joe! Now, let everybody back off. It cannot end this way. <laughs> No time to pursue the fools. We have both the crystals and heavy water. One more element to go, and then we are victorious. <laughs> Dr. Vandermeer, we got the heavy water, but we're still two elements short for your mass device. If you don't get them soon, Duke, it may not matter. The Cobra Commander demands G.I. Joe surrender at once, or he'll disintegrate New York City. Radiation sickness has gone, me bucko. 
the simple dressing of leaves and herbs draws out the contamination. And you're none the worse for it. Your uniform and mask are on the wall behind you. I cannot see, so I do not know why you cover your face, lad. But whatever terrible disfigurement is there, I can see into your heart, and that is sound and true. You can't deny it, lad. <laughs> your loyal wolf friend here, he needs a name. How about... Timber? Yes, it is a perfect moniker. You'll not be going without this, I think. I went back for it. It was easy to find. It's humming and warm like it is. Now, one thing more before you go traipsing off into the snow. There's an old ice boat moored at the eastern end of the Sea of Ice, just over the rise. Cross over in that, and you'll soon reach civilization. Saints protect you. Both of you. This is a step in the right direction. But New York has had it if G.I. Joe doesn't surrender. I wish I could see some other alternative. If we give up, Cobra will have a stranglehold on the world. We've got to keep fighting. Somehow. Uh, me and Steeler maybe got something. You know how Cobra needs the Relay Star satellite to send a mass energy beam down on New York? Yeah, sure, Fuse. Go on. Well, you see, Steel and me was talking, and I said to him, Steeler, buddy, I said... Will you tell him already? I'm telling him. I gotta tell him my way, though. So anyway, I said to Steeler... There's no time to tell it your way. What me and Short Fuse figured was, if we could knock out that satellite, Cobra couldn't do nothing to the Big Apple. So we built this here doohickey with Clutch's help. It's a killer satellite. It's all mounted in a portable launch gantry and everything. Oh, well, what do you think? Crude, roughly constructed, but magnificent. It just might do the job. A little closer, a little closer to the relay star, and we can blow it to bits. Shot troops to the grid at once! Hurry! This will use up our last remaining bit of the third metallic element. But we have no choice. <laughs> Troops up to the relay star. We have just sealed the fate of G.I. Joe and ensured our future greatness. Cobra rules! <laughs> we have failed to pull Cobra's fangs. You will have to surrender now, unless you can summon up a miracle. Guess who I just picked up at the outer perimeter? I heard a relay alarm kick in. You were all busy, so I went for a look-see. And here's Snake Eyes! I don't know how you made it back, Snake Eyes. Snake, you're alive! I knew you were too tough to be finished off by some dumb old crystals. Who's your friend? These crystals give us a chance to meet Cobra head on, mass to mass, and a chance is all we need. Yo, Joe! <laughs> Something's bugging your big bad wolf, Snake Eyes. Uh -huh. Well, maybe uh -huh. that smoke. The canister. It's a booby trap. If it blows, we're all cosmic dust. <laughs> the fumes, they have paralyzing properties. <laughs> Must get rid of them before <laughs> too late. Good 
boy. Liquid can filter fumes. <clears throat> Maybe enough time to get Fusion Bomb out of here. <clears throat> we don't have time to spare, boy. So keep your paws crossed. Here we go! Look out! Timber, you're my kind of wolf. Thanks to Timber and Cover Girl, we've still got a chance. There is a remote possibility we can activate our mass device with only two of the required elements. If and only if the synthetic meteorite flakes I have devised complete the equation. I shall need an object for the test. Gung ho! Bye, baby. Take good care of her, Dr. Vandermeer. We've been through lots together. I should do my best. Snake Eyes, the homing device. Prepare to receive transmission. The electromotive force field seems to be adequate. Now. <laughs> Baby, what they do to you? I wouldn't use that weapon unless your insurance is paid up. Without the third element, we are no match for Cobra. The catalytic ingredient we need is to be found where the so-called Ring of Fire emerges from the continent of South America. It is a center of extraordinary volcanic activity. More than 100,000 years ago, a gigantic meteorite survived entry into the Earth's atmosphere, plummeted into the crater known as the Devil's Cauldron. That meteorite is the last source of the pure metallic compound, which is our third missing element. It remains there still, in a deadly sea of red-hot lava. What's that? Look at that screen. Unreal. What's the pattern? An ultra-secret message on the video scrambler. It's only used for terminal condition white. Condition white? Like in white flag? No way. I'd do anything if I didn't have to be the one to deliver this message. But the president and the Joint Chiefs have just ordered me to assemble the entire G.I. Joe force and surrender as directed by Cobra. No way! You're putting this on, right, Stalk? You out of your gone. Come off it, Stalker. You're reading this wrong. There must be a foul-up in transmission. It's no mistake. As soon as our entire outfit and its support and supply networks have been repositioned as demanded, I will formally turn it all over to the Cobra Commander. We've won, don't you see? One! Don't try to talk me out of it. It's not my decision. They don't know we're eavesdropping on their super-secret transmission, so it must be the truth! Victory, Destro! I said victory, Destro! Is it not sweet? <laughs> I see the forces of our enemy marching to the designated staging area, but until the moment of surrender, I shall not count G.I. Joe out. Where are you going? I've arranged a banquet! We still lack the third element to power our mass device. At this delicate juncture, I shall take no chance of anything going wrong. I will lead the search for that final ingredient myself. Paranoid fool. We've won, I tell you! It'll take several hours to complete the surrender operation. Then I will... I crushed them! <laughs> They're finished! <laughs> We must stop these evil men, Ramar. If not, they will enslave others as they have our people. Give me but one opportunity, one uncutted moment, and I will repay the swine. This is my moment of triumph, and I'm not having any fun. You, Slade, come here and amuse me. There's nothing like a show of spirit to add spice to the contest. Oh! Now, let's see. Who or what shall I have you fight? I've got it! <laughs> Wonderful! Delightful! 
Wherever you are, Duke, you must not let the evil ones vanquish you. You must fight on. I pray that you will. It's now my duty to ask all the G.I. Joe team members to report to the... Will you get out of the picture, gun home? Uh, sorry, Stock. They're kind of cute, you know? Better than an electric train set. Mm -hmm. Relax, Stalker. You weren't transmitting when GH took a play break. As far as Cobra knows, we're taking their surrender ultimatum seriously. <laughs> I hope I was as convincing as these models. My only previous acting experience was playing a pumpkin in the school Thanksgiving show. You were great. Breaker discovered Cobra was intercepting our ultra-secret transmission, and you gave them the show we wanted them to see. Well, let's hope it buys us enough time to get that third element. Okay, listen up. Operation Big Lift is about to get underway. Yo, Joe! Get down too close to that lava, and it's Barbecue City. Hey! Wow, far out! What'd you see? What do you think I see for Pete's sake? What are we looking for? If I say, hey, wow, far out, I must have found it, right? Right. It's the meteorite. We're there. This is it. Man, look at that baby. That's the payoff. Fantastic. OK, by the numbers, move. We're going to lift that sucker. Check your cables and electromagnets and fasten your seat belts. Yeah! <laughs> This is Wilder and the Bronco with the cactus saddle. <laughs> My old daddy taught me how to dip a mint to catch a mess of blue crab. This is about the same, except this old crab weighs about 10 tons. <laughs> we gotta lift it quick, or the magnets will melt. Contact! Got it! Reel them in! Jojo! Yeah! Lift that sucker! Go, man, go! Yeah! Out of sight! Way to go, Scarlet! Hard out! Lucier! Lower more cables on the double! This is all we got, babe! If it don't work, we're cooked! And I'm talking cooked! Go! 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 Cobra! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Cut the cables! Cobra! We've cut the meteorite loose! Look out! It's gonna hit! Let's hear it for Nate Bates! We have only one target, and that is the volcano itself. Concentrate your fire at this level, just below the surface of the lava in the crater. When we break through, the lava spill will trigger an eruption. An eruption which will pop the meteorite into the sky like a champagne cork. Then we'll neck it before G.I. Joe realizes they've lost. <laughs> What can I do? Oh, come in, Destro. I demand you acknowledge a Commander-in-Chief. Destro, the G.I. Joe force has not surrendered yet. Repeat, not surrendered. Over. Yeah, I will wait no longer. My patience is ended. I demand you surrender at once or I shall destroy New York. Our total force hasn't assembled yet. You surely don't want a partial surrender. Silence! How long to complete the process? An hour and a half? Two hours at the most, if we're lucky. You will not be lucky, fool! You will be vanquished! That is all! Ah, they have taken far too much time as it is. Frankly, Commander, I suspect some sort of trick. So do I. Tell me, do we actually have enough catalytic elements to disintegrate New York as I threatened? I do not know. We have scavenged Destro's original shipment containers and found only a handful of the meteorite metal. It will have to suffice. I'm through waiting for G.I. Joe's surrender. 
Destroy New York. The homing devices are in place. Destroy it now! I heal and obey. But it worked! <laughs> it's headed right for us! This is the end! It's curtains! Oh no! The end of the world! Oh! Any second now. Threat has been proven empty. Our future rests with Destro now. Unless he brings back the meteorite, our mass device will be useless. Maintain your fire. We are almost through for the lava lake. Uh oh, what we've got here is a game of dirty pool with a capital D for Destro. He's undercutting the lava in the crater. When that crater wall breaks, we could have us one humongous blow-up. It'll send that old meteorite pushing out faster than a field mouse at a tomcat picnic. If that meteorite gets into free fall, we're in big trouble. Eye in the sky, going high. Gunko Joe is going low. Yo, Joe! I Joe will return after these messages. Now back to GI Joe.
The mopping up's complete, except for Destro. Scarlet was on his tail. They found me. childish games. I intend to deliver a healthy supply of the meteorite to Cobra, and Scarlet will accompany me. I believe the expression is, till we meet again. <laughs> Steel Skull Bunk's got the meteorite and Scarlet, and there's not a thing we can do about it. For the moment, no, there isn't. But we now hold the last remaining portion of the final catalytic element we need to make our mass device work. We can only hope, for Scarlet and all our sakes, that we're not too late. We'll break your spirit soon enough, my dear Scarlet. Seeing you a groveling slave will provide me with great pleasure. <laughs> groveling before a meatball like you isn't my style, Destro. You're a paradox, Scarlet. You little fool! You use the controls! We're both finished! Hideaway would look so welcome. Take it away. Don't open any champagne yet, scrap iron breath. You took a round, not the fight. What a tiresome tigress. She was my ticket out with the third element. I knew you would not fail. However, all has not been going well since your departure. There was the ill-advised attempt to destroy New York City. What? Ah, Destro. Noble Destro, my old friend, we congratulate you on the success of your mission. Success? You dare speak to me of success, you psychotic, sibilant servant of a dolt? Really, Destro, is that any way to talk to your leader? Your stupid, bungled attempt to disintegrate New York has given our enemies the two commodities they must not be allowed, time and hope. <laughs> Nothing undermines our cause more greatly than failure to execute our threats. 
Destro, even you must see that with the meteorite particles in our possession, we are invincible. Even you must see that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Commander, yes. And I shall assure us of victory by taking full authority over all operations myself. <laughs> that I told them nothing, and I will tell you even less. Relax, sister. We have the same friend. I do not understand. The ring. Duke's ring. Duke? Six foot two, eyes of blue. Look, I'll tell you straight off. Duke wouldn't want us to sit this one out. Understand? Yes, now I understand perfectly. Crates, keep moving. Now, gentlemen, G.I. Joe has its own mass device, and it is ready for action. G.I. Joe! Hot slave, we have special greetings for you from Destro. And the time has come to surrender at once or perish. I can't be sure where I've been or what has been happening to me, but Destro is the new Cobra Come leader. Right. Our severest right. test is yet to come. The monstrous imperialist Destro is demanding It is simple that to command respect when one has the power to back up one's speech making. That is true, Destro. <laughs> that strip of metal you gave me works, Selena. If I concentrate, I can override the control of the Cobra soldiers. It works best when the energy level supplied to the headband is low. Stop, slaves! The cages of the male slaves. We are expected to serve their food. Can we count on them? Get to work! They await only the proper moment. This is Ramar. When the time comes, he will lead the male slaves into battle against our hated Cobra Masters. The time must come soon. Our patience is wearing thin. Oh, soon. I promise you, very soon. Pass it on. Such bottomless stupidity! 
the fools. Something troubles you, Destro? The world is not yet at your feet. Not one nation has surrendered. This one must take a vote. That one wants to take it under consideration. Don't they realize they're dealing with Destro? Oh, I'd say they all know that. And it doesn't frighten them in the least. Yes. They shall learn the price of their arrogance. Baroness, is the device at operating temperature? Yes, Destro. Then lock on homing devices and eradicate New York now! At once, do you hear? The world has denied my commands. Let them learn the consequence of insolence. Culver's fired off another mass destruction ray. We've got to do something. Maybe we can knock Destro's beam off course with a zap from our baby. It's worth a try. Festivities. Scarlet is still a prisoner, and we can't do anything about it until I remember where Cobra headquarters is. You, the people of the world, mistake my determination to conquer. I am not soft and merciful. Until your nation surrender to me, I shall execute your leaders one at a time, every half hour on the hour, starting with General Flag. Bring him to me, and I shall personally carry out his sentence. Is now not a suitable time? I don't see why not. Duke will be proud of me for this, Scarlet. You bet, kid. We shall be free! Yeah! You survived with your beautiful skins intact. Remove them from my sight! Well, it was fun while it lasted. Yes, you are very brave. But Duke's our only hope now. Everything is ready, Duke. Relax. Breathe deeply. Let your thoughts flow freely. It looks so weird. He's in no danger, Breaker. And this special sensory deprivation tank may be able to get at the memory of his Cobra captivity, which has somehow been erased. Let's start at the beginning, Duke, with your childhood in Iowa. Early on, your sense of justice and honor was tested, and you responded. It has never deserted you. It is at the heart of your idea of America, an idea despised by Cobra. That's it, Duke. It's coming into focus. Now concentrate on a cobra-headed fortress on top of a bleak mountain. It looks like the Hotel Dracula. That's it, Duke. Play it back slowly. You can do it. There. Start there and move forward about half speed. Hey, look at her. Wow. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Woo. 
Hey, man, how could he forget a fish like that? We've got it. The slave girl has Duke's ring. It's got special electronic characteristics, which can serve as our homing device right into the heart of Cobra's hideout. Perfect, Duke. The microchip components of your ring give us an excellent homing fix on the Cobra hideout. Then start massing us out, Dr. Vandermeer. Cobras had things their way long enough. Yo, Joe! Yo! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. General, whether or not the battle goes against me. showed up. A girl gets tired hanging around the house. Later, sister. We've got a war to win. I was gonna bring flowers, but I thought you'd like these better. Yo, 
Cobra Commander and his cronies, but it looks like Destro slipped away. I shall be back for vengeance. I swear it. I shall be back. Using part of our mass machine with what's left of theirs and a little bit of elements remaining, I think there's just enough juice to send the Eiffel Tower back where it belongs. Here goes. London? You put the Eiffel Tower back in London? I guess I goofed, but there's nothing I can do. All the elements are used up. We can't just leave things like this. There may be a way. It should reach Paris in a few days. Well, nobody's perfect. No, but we do okay. Yeah! 